time. Hey, we in the fold with this shit. Hey, subscribe to 80, channel 85 and shout out 80, 85 News. Yeah, shout out to Trap News. And shout out to Trap News. Uh. Yeah, I gotta keep your head on the shrill between. Let me hit the channel 85 out. Yeah. Trap News. Trap News, boy, nigga, Trap News. But that's what we be needing protection from too. Like if niggas wasn't crazy, the world would be a safer place. Anyways, that's part of my presidential campaign. Make the world a safer place. Are you ready? Get up, Mr. I'm Curry. ready. Okay. Are we ready? Okay. <clears throat> put the put the vape, put your battery pack down. I got a new one. <laughs> nah, I got a new one. I got a new one. It be loud. That's just that geeked up. Yeah. Geek bar. It's a baba. It's a geek bar. Anyway. Turn it up. <laughs> Stop while you ain't doing that. Huh? Move that bottle of water. All right, we ready. See how my mic look more manly. It got a. Yeah, that's good, Drew. What you say is more manly. Yeah. I ain't say nothing. Damn, I thought we had to shoot that photo today. That's my fault, y'all. Players fuck up, too. I'm on daddy mode. It ain't like I was just doing some bullshit. You though. always just doing me. some bullshit. Yeah, I had my son with me. You know what I mean? That had, don't mean you wouldn't had do to cut bullshit. Up some bananas. They take their kids to do bullshit every day. <laughs> I had to cut up bananas, make some oatmeal. No, you didn't. And then I had to put the bananas in the oatmeal, mush it around. It's 3 o'clock. Put some syrup on it. You been did that. That's what I'm saying. That's what I was doing. Okay, whatever. Good. Anyways, let's get this going. <sighs> All right, y'all ready? Uh, when is the perfect time to ask for a raise? I don't know. I was thinking about that. We need to figure out. I think if we come together and be like, this what we need, yeah. we might could get. We might could get us a hell time. Right. I'm just joking. <laughs> son, I was just playing, son. All right, ready? <laughs> Welcome back to The Trap. Um, I'm Bree Renee, straight from the A. And this your boy, Money Bag. I ain't that baby's father, but the little nigga can call me dad. Let's do it. <laughs> But I'll be off the dog to my club. I mean, I'm gonna be having that. You got to give me some time to think about some next episode. All right, go ahead. <clears throat> ah, well, um, we, you know, we got to kick it off with the politics. There's a lot going on. So the presidential debate is actually coming up. It's going to take place on Tuesday, September 10th at 9 p.m. Eastern. It's hosted by ABC, of course. And it'll be the first time that Harris and Trump debate each other. Because, you know, he was kind of running from her for a minute. Yeah. Like, he didn't really want to see her in the debate. Mm. But um, it's, it's set to take place. And the first presidential debate was June 27th. And well, that's when Trump was talking to Biden, though. You okay. know, that was back back then in Atlanta. Is this real me in Atlanta? Yeah, uh, no, it's not. We don't know where it's gonna be at, but if it is, you know the traffic gonna be fucked up. Traveling. Anyway, <laughs> no, for real. Oh, um, and they also threw in there that the mic is gonna be muted, like in between when the other candidate is, is speaking. That's good, that's how they should do your ass when I'm talking. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'll know? be forcing it a little bit, you be trying to you know, run the show and shit. Like, this ain't no... Because I'm the more responsible one. Who else gonna run it? You can't read? <clears throat> no, you you just, can't be you on just, time? You just ain't got How no you gonna run time. something? In? That's what's wrong. You ain't even You just acting. ain't been beaten. What? Like, Mr. Say, do you do you beat her? <laughs> How you expect <laughs> me to mind you? First See, that's why all, you don't mind me, because I don't beat on First me. of all, I wish you would. I wish <laughs> I wish a nigga would, okay? I don't know who in charge of do HR, but they gonna have to come pull me off of your ass. Anyways, and see, now you fucking up, because I was about to say, I am I think I should run for president, and I was gonna make you my vice president. But the way you acted, <laughs> you can kick off the campaign, twin. <laughs> kick off the motherfucking well, campaign. Well, what, what the fuck you gonna be presidenting? The United States, I got Man, good policies. You I can't got... even get the vending machine to act properly. First of all, <laughs> the vending machine just motherfucking blessed you, okay? And you ain't for shit. Come on, man, we got the news to tell. We anyway. Dog. Um, I think we should just go ahead and send it over to Chris for a Chris 3 lesson. You can't even say set it off. I was waiting on. You can't even I was. Say I gotta it off. wait on Joe to no, say you set don't it off. Gotta wait on Joe. Joe, don't you I gotta wait on you? Say it because he's smoking no, no, his no. motherfucking pipe battery pack. Look Come on, at me, you. don't do that. <laughs> Come on now, you. 
<laughs> you can take anything and take my son. <laughs> No, where are the dare programs? What the Take fuck? Smokey the Bear guy? Damn, no. Say Set it off. Right, Set on. it off. Set it off. Set it off. Thank you, Moneybag and Bree, for bringing it over to me. Bitch, you going to jail. Let's get to it. America, stay acting up, old black folks, man. Today, we are going to have a conversation about reparations. Now, I saw some people saying black people don't need no reparations. They ain't going to do nothing but spend their money. They don't give a fuck what they spend it on. And, and let, me, let, me, let me say this. I don't give a damn if they spend the money on drugs. God damn it. That's what these young white folks doing. That's what they spending their mama money on drugs. God damn it. I don't give a damn. Well, it's our folks' money. First of all, there's no amount of money in the world that can make up for the work and the lives that black folks have lost in them fields. You feel me? To build this institution that we call the United States, man. So many black folks that lost everything. It's only right we ball out. Shit. <laughs> We came from royalty, you know what I mean? People say we doing good after slavery, since slavery over. I say we were doing better before slavery even came into effect. But listen, let's get to it. The blacks in Cali asked for reparations. Not only the blacks in Cali, the blacks in Cali asked for reparations, but we all asking for it. But we gonna deal with the blacks in Cali right now, since y'all try to separate us some more. We don't even know what black is. We gonna have to start saying melanated or something. We got to. But the blacks in Cali asked for reparations on the California bill 1403 and 1331. Those sound like years, don't it? <laughs> California Bill 1403 and 1331, that means everybody can Google it. The Senate approved it, but it got stalled out. So I don't know who's doing the stalling of the bill, but whoever you are, lift thine hands off thou money <laughs> and let us get it and let us have it to be plentiful in the world, man. You know what I mean? For real, for real. I cannot believe people, I, can't, I cannot believe people tried to even act like we didn't deserve that, man. You know what I mean? Speaking of reparations, too, um, there's one more thing that I got to say with this. Since um, This is a Christopher segment. It's called Christopher because we're talking about a little history. And my name is Chris, and I just try to mingle everything together. So for those of you who are saying that black people don't need no money or don't have no money or shouldn't get no money, the government already gave us money, but now you're going to have to be a student of history. During the Civil War, we're in Atlanta right now, so during the Civil War, at the end of the Civil War, they had a general named German, I mean Sherman Tecumseh, right? Sherman, General Sherman Tecumseh, he came through, you feel me, went all the way down to Savannah, cleared out all the Confederates, you know what I'm saying, shooting them down, tearing up everything, but he also gave out land to some of the black preachers. He asked the black preachers, what do y'all want? What do y'all need? And they said, we need land. And that's what I think the term 40 acres and a mule came from. They had, um, the, the correct term for this would be field order number 15, am I right? Field order number 15, and uh, that's about land coming all the way down from South Carolina, maybe stretching down to Florida, should it be the Sea Islands or the Gullah Islands. Now, that was in the United States real documents, you know what I mean? Now, another thing that might not be in the document, like I said last season, it was something about, there was a man from Ethiopia, his name was Menelik, Menelik II, as a matter of fact, Haile Selassie's grandfather, but Menelik II is a man who sent reparations to the black people here. He sent gold bullions. I guess bull gold bullion would be like gold bars, he sent it to the United States for reparations, you know what I mean, for black people to, you know, have money that they wouldn't need anything. And he even got them land. And the land that he got was the Sea Islands, the Gullah Islands, which might be around the same area that we're talking about now. But y'all check your history out. Hopefully y'all get to see that. But there's one more thing I need to talk about. Since we're talking about reparations, another black man has gotten reparations. His name is Reggie Bush. One of the, boy, I, let me tell you something, nigga. They need to change the Heisman Trophy. Just They need to just let Reggie Bush be the Heisman Trophy. You know what I mean? Period. If you don't know who Reggie Bush is, play them goddamn clips. Play them right now. You know how much money I, you know how much money I won on Reggie Bush? <laughs> I'm dead serious, man. Reggie was playing with USC. Uh, I remember I went to one of the games. I went to a couple of the games, me and his cousin. I was in the car with me and Reggie Bush. I put Reggie Bush on to, um, Reggie, you remember that, that, that CD we were listening to? Um, it was um, the Gucci Man and um, Young Jeezy. You know what I'm saying? That was that was that was what we were listening to. I listened to that CD. And we went to one of the games, and at one of the games, my homeboy, 
saw O.J. Simpson. And when he saw O.J. Simpson, there were so many white people around O.J. Simpson, they act like he was never accused of shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I ain't saying he did nothing. You know what I'm saying? Of course he's innocent, but the white people at USC was treating O.J. like it was still during the time that he was in college. They were like, O.J. And then my friend put on the black glove. He was like, O.J., shake my hand. And O.J. shook everybody's hand. And he was like, come on, man. I was like, man, don't, don't do O.J. like that, man. Well, shout out to O.J. too, because O.J. was a big Reggie Bush fan. But Reggie got his trophy back, and they just put his picture up in the Hall of Fame, where he's supposed to be. He's supposed to bend there, man. Shout out to Reggie Bush, Reggie. Reggie, shout out to you, brother, you know what I'm saying? You represent San Diego very well. Real talk. Shout out to you, brother. Ain't nothing wrong with black people giving each other props. That's my time. My name is Chris Edith Jones. This is our segment of Christery. Back over to you, Moneybag and Bree. And let me tell you, you're doing a damn good job. Shout out to Joe, shout out to Dot, shout out to AWOL, you hear me? Shout out to Najee, shout out to Drew. And most importantly, shout out to the man upstairs. Sold me that kush. <laughs> Damn it! Boy, I got so high, I can tickle Jesus' feet. You hear me? I'm sorry. I'm gone. That's my time. We're out of here, y'all. See y'all later, man. This segment of Christopher. I don't know where I'm at right now. I feel like I'm in Narnia. Grindel. <laughs> Set it off. Thank you, Chris, for that Chris 3 lesson. Now, we just got to just go ahead and get into um, hip-hop politics and all the entertainment news. So, a viral tweet claimed, uh, alleged, well, the tweet was tweeted, but it was allegedly claimed that Kevin Durant was kicked out of Kim Kardashian's house. They, The tweet claimed that Kevin Durant was kicked out after they were playing a game of Truth or Dare, and he asked if Booker really smashed Kendall. Who the fuck is Booker? What's his name? The basketball player that she was fucking with. Oh. Devin Booker. Oh. I don't be knowing their names, but yeah. But yeah, Devin Booker, he uh he asked Kevin Durant asked in the game with Trooper Dare, like basically, did did he smash Kendall? No. You need to leave. Yeah, they said they kicked him out. Because he asked her if she fucked? Yeah. All right. And yeah, I don't I don't <clears throat> I actually don't think that would be accurate, but whatever. This tweet was considered fake because it was from a NBA central account parody account, but it was all over the internet. Yeah, that don't sound right. Also, all over the internet, um, August Alcina says that he was open to same-sex relationships. I don't know if you saw that. Like After it was the conversation went viral, a fan chimed in with and tweeted August Alcina music slap, you gay bitch you. <laughs> But I like, it was funny because it's like, it was a straight man saying like, that music slap. Yeah, you gay bitch. Right. <laughs> and August Alcina actually, <laughs> he actually took it to like, you know, he took it to the chin. Like he didn't even, he laughed about it. I mean, he like, well, you, you know. I mean, yeah, kinda, it, at least my music slap. Kind of a gay bitch. All right. That's but good, man. Walking your truth, bro. That's all right. Bro. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of walking in their truth, you know who really got uh, a little, they chest was a little tight when they got called out on their truth this week. Uh, former NFL player Cam Newton, he negatively reacted to being called out about his stance on marriage. His, on his own podcast, he brought on a, the very beautiful and educated employee. <coughs> Black queen, yes, sir. Dr. Bryant. Um, she really read him for filth, honestly. In a, in a, read in him a, for what? Filth. Filth? Yeah. Damn. Like, read him for filth. I don't know what that means. Go ahead, though. And like, like read him down. Like, got him all the way together. So she thought. <clears throat> no, she really did. And I hope that, it, and I think that it hurt his ego a little bit, too, just oh, seeing. He, oh, he doubled back and said some. he doubled back and said something about the interview. No, he ain't doubled back and say nothing. Okay. He didn't double back. Okay, we got a clip for it. No, we don't have. Do we have a clip? Oh, we do. People see my situation and not think that I'm not high function. What situation? Okay, so I'm not married. I have beautiful children. How many? Eight. By eight, how many women? Three. And this is the kicker. I want more. By multiple women? What's the intention? I just want God by to your bring wife? them. I just want God to bring them. Oh, okay. My desire to get married is lower than my fear of divorce. So, as you had said, Dr. Bryant, you said it, I didn't say it, I will agree. I'm just taking my time. You're not taking your time. I am, though. You're being very action-based. You're not taking your time. I'm taking my time. You're being very action-based. You have eight kids yeah. with three different women. Yes. You are creating, procreating, and multiplying. That is not taking your time. You're being very selectively active. Mm. Okay? So, you're creating, mm -hmm. in disclaimer, 
The kids are innocent. They are beautiful and amazing. Anything I say has nothing to do with them babies. But you are proactively choosing. What Notice there's no ring on that left hand. It don't matter. It's still, you can still. Oh, uh, my bad. I was thinking out loud. Uh, it don't matter. I was thinking out loud. That don't matter. It don't got nothing to do with what she's talking about. She's talking about what he doing. And what he doing is mm. ignorant. That's y'all problem. What's the problem? You sit here creating all these broken homes. I don't understand why men feel Listen, like marriage. This is my thing. Okay, Listen, go ahead. I don't understand why men feel like marriage is a greater commitment than having children. You can divorce somebody and never speak to them again, bust that shit down, never have to pay nothing or whatever, and say your goodbyes. It's just a fucking breakup. Niggas do that all day long. But when you have a kid, you are responsible. Whether you do it or, or choose to lean into that responsibility or not, you are responsible for that life and that connection and that bond with that person for the rest of everybody's life. It, it's like a game. One of y'all got to die out. Like, either the kid or the baby mama. But until, as long as all three parties are alive, y'all connected. Whether you choose to stay connected or not. It's a kid that's somewhere that's like, and if you don't choose to stay connected, then you even more of a bitch-ass nigga. You should never been laying down anyway. Because why you having kids that you're not going to take care of? I think the system that's is my rigged. Skill. The system is rigged. What you got to say? <clears throat> um, first of all, can we let some of these people that these men are having babies with go interview them and see if they got a problem with what's going on. You don't know what kind of father this man is behind them cameras. Just because a woman get on there and try to tell a nigga about himself, that's the problem. You need to talk to these women about these women. Let the niggas talk to the niggas about the niggas because at the end of the day, Cam Newton got enough money to take care of all his kids, his fucking self, and the motherfucking woman that's interviewing him. What are you talking about? I, Listen, the marriage is way more detrimental because they got more to lose in the end. At the end of the day, if you lose that child and the baby mama, you still can have a good relationship with that child. Once that marriage shit go down the drain, you out of money, you out of, you got to go to court, all this extra shit, and y'all never get the ass end of the stick. So if you want to take your time, my nigga, and wait to find the right one that you feel like Ain't going to, you know, do some bullshit later on down the line. Take your time. The Bible say be fruitful. Nigga be, the nigga being fruitful, doing what the fuck God told him to do. The Bible also <clears throat> says to be committed to get... one. A man who finds a wife finds a good thing. Listen, Second of all, listen. money, wait, money, you lose. You, you, my you are out of money. <laughs> you, <some> money. <laughs> you are also out of money. <laughs> you are also out of money when a child becomes involved. And just because you can afford to take care of these women, you're talking about the stability, the stability sustainability of the relationship with those women. How You're not thinking Cam, about the how children. How often do Cam Newton see his kids? It don't matter how often. No, 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 no. Just ask the question. How often the, do you see His him? other baby mama the other Man, came out. Know. I'm going to tell you. His <clears throat> other baby mother came out and said that they do one week on, one week off, which is very admirable for Bro, somebody. You, you can look up at niggas who do, let's say niggas who do stand up who are on the road all two, three weeks at a time. What's the difference? Y'all don't even know. I, my dad was in the house. I still ain't see that nigga. He works so much. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, like, what the fuck? Like, it's too much opinionated shit going on with niggas who handle their business because you got a lot of niggas who got a lot of kids that don't do shit. You right. Now, you got a nigga that doing something and you sitting up here tearing them down? It's with no not, ring, like you got some shit to talk. You ain't got shit to talk about. It's not about tearing them down. It's about restoring the you black community he, and household. And I think that's no, all no, no, we're working for. As long as we keep making kids, we keep restoring the black community. All right. Well, keep going. We just gonna have a difference of opinion. Longest, um, longest. Speaking, you know who else would agree? Longest Cam ain't no gay bitch. What? <laughs> <laughs> the community go. Long as niggas ain't gay bitches, we gonna keep goddamn. We gonna keep it going. Okay. <laughs> well, fucking with y'all, there ain't gonna be no niggas left. And I don't think I'm coming that late about a ring. That that's not my only argument. I just know what niggas lose. You know, when that shit said and done. That shit, them niggas go, man. That shit, man. Please. All okay. that shit we work for. Go ahead. All right. Mute well, my mic. Yeah. We. <laughs> you know who would actually agree with me? Um, TV personality Judge Greg Mathis. He was, stop was stopped and he shared his personal insight on his marriage and detailing the cause of his um, divorce that he's in the middle of right now with his wife, Linda Reese. We actually got a clip. Let's take a look at the clip. How are you today, man? I'm good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Yeah. I want to ask... I'm not good, rather. It's the worst days of my life. How about that? Okay, well, I'm sorry to hear that. I want to ask you, you know, with news of the separation, how are you holding up? Not holding up very well. I would say the uh, other man. Maybe I'll be an uh, example for other man. Cautionary tale. Don't neglect your wife. You see how I'm here at the airport now, flying out, as I have for 40 or for 25 years. My wife has been third. Serving the community, taping my show, 
having fun with friends. That's what happens, guys. Never be too busy or never have too much fun beyond your life. So I do want to ask, you know, the date of separation is listed back in July 17th. Mm -hmm. Has this been coming for some time now or was it something out the blue? Well, ever since we uh, started taping here in L.A., I committed to staying home more and being making my wife more, more of a priority. But as you see, I haven't. I'm still here on the road yeah. doing the same thing. And uh, in terms of uh, going out into another city. But it was, I was gone for three weeks. That's what July 17th meant. Would you say you two are in a good place right now or able to maintain a friendship? Or oh yeah, we're, we're still in the same house and we're maintaining a friendship. And I'm trying to get my wife back. Try, I have to show her that though. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully I can show her while we're there together before and hopefully she doesn't complete the process. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm changing in hopes that she will. I'm gonna get my wife back. How about that? Absolutely. I just wanted to eliminate all the rooms. Man, cut that simp ass no, nigga no, off. No further information. Cut that simp ass he nigga off. Me. I'm sorry for a 2004 ass nigga. No. <laughs> no, but for real, y'all better listen to him. You hear what he's saying? That it, underline he's saying the importance of marriage. Underline he's saying the importance of remaining, uh, maintaining a healthy bond with your woman and your wife. I ain't got nothing to say against that simp ass nigga. Shut up. Free that bitch, man. Cut her ass off, man. You had to go get you some money, man. You looking at the glad half empty instead of half full. Because if your ass was broke, then what? Mute my motherfucking mic. What I'm did he say? Off. I can't be in two places at so once. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> she, she wasn't complaining when you were buying all that shit. I, know, all I agree with the working part. But then, but it, but he did admit that he it's, also had it sound like he fun got a good with wife. friends over. Oh, we know what that means. He was fucking. That's exactly he was cheating. So that's she sound like weird. a good woman, nigga. You, you, you don't deserve her, Judge. What? Calling everybody crackhead and shit on motherfucking TV. <laughs> now look at your ass. I know a crackhead. When I, I know a simp nigga when I see one. <laughs> I know a hurt nigga when I see one. Hope you get your wife back, though, gang. You are re goddamn ridiculous. Hell yeah. Okay. I like how you did that. Yeah, you are. Right. So let's just go ahead and send it to Justin for me. Goddamn ridiculous news. Goddamn ridiculous. I don't know. I got five. Appreciate that bag and brief. On today's episode of a goddamn ridiculous, we are in Georgia where I don't know what's in the air or the water, but it seems like niggas just can't keep their dick in the pants when they out in public. This one man decides to go to the laundromat and disrobe himself in front of everybody now trying to wash their goddamn clothes. Um, if you look at him, you can kind of see shit ain't right with him anyway, but that don't mean, all right, fuck it. Um, I'll read it to you because we don't have a, a clip about this from today. Today we're heading to Georgia to meet the subject of mugshot of the day. This guy was arrested after reportedly exposing himself at a laundromat in Coffee County. Around 7 p.m., police received a call about a man disrobing at Evans Laundry. According to Douglas Now, where officers from Coffee County Sheriff's arrived, they found 55-year-old David Bennett with his shirt off and his shorts down. No reason was given as to why he was taking his clothes off exposing himself at the laundromat. It sounds like it created quite the scene as you'd expect, and at least five deputies was on the scene. I don't know why the hell it took five of them to come out there and get this naked ass goddamn crackhead off the goddamn premises, because I would just, you could just call me and I would have tased this motherfucker, made his ass get up, put him on the goddamn squad car, and hauled his little nasty ass on down to the sheriff's department. Now, if you think this motherfucker was doing some stupid shit, we're going to go over to Bankhead. We're in Atlanta. Now, I spend a lot of time over there at the Iron Skillet, and don't worry about why. Now, I heard they got good food over there, but that's not why I'm there. They have quality reptiles in the back, and that's where this motherfucker should have been at when, instead of standing out there by the goddamn pump, jacking his dick off. Now, what really fucks me up, now, it's ridiculous enough that he's standing his ass out there beating his dick while people trying to get 10 on pump three. What really fucks me up is when the lady goes in to report that this man out here beating his dick in the parking lot, they say, oh, I know, he always out there. What? Man, play the scene. Because I couldn't believe the shit either. They say exposed himself to a woman at a gas station. It happened at the Petro Travel Center on Donnelly Hallow Road on Juneteenth. And we want to warn you, some viewers may find this disturbing. Fox says right. Joy Duke spoke exclusively with the victim who says she's traumatized by the here. incident. Joy? Yeah, Courtney Russ, that woman tells me she was just there trying to pick up some lunch for her husband who was at work nearby. She never imagined she'd find a man standing behind her performing a sex act on himself or that she'd be told it was a regular Being this dick at the iron skillet. Locking eyes with this man masturbating. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause it, pause it, pause it. Now, what in the fuck? She locked eyes with him for anyway. Once you see mm -mm -mm, that, well, you ain't got to keep looking. All right, keep going, because it, it sounded like this is something she was enjoying. Sunday Gray says she now sees every time she closes her eyes. I don't know how a person recovers or can put that out of their mind. A trip to the Man, Iron lady, Skillet you inside Pedro Travel beat they Center the on Donald Lee Hollowell Road took a traumatizing turn when she turned around and noticed a man behind her in line with his pants down. Right there in the I'm goddamn eye, she is beating it deep. Even more unsettling, she says employees who saw the man did not intervene. Well, what the fuck do you think they supposed to do, lady? With his order. How does it not bother anyone else as much as it bothers me? What if it was a child that was in my place. Her husband, Robert Gray, says when she called to tell him what happened, he immediately he notified pissed. security he and went to confront the man. Want her looking at now another dick. That's why he mad. I run inside of the store and I'm yelling, where is this guy at? If, if he were able to run to the store where she was, why she the says, fuck oh, he wasn't getting his own damn food? Outside. I said, what? I said, why you didn't stop him? And he's like, oh, he left the store. He tells Fox 5 he was mm -hmm. even more stunned to hear a female employee admit that she and several other women who worked there had also been victimized. They've the been enjoying the this year. But his Them long ass women that work at the Iron Skillet, they let him come out there and beat his dick off. It was something that they could have prevented. I don't know who works. Them motherfuckers or them females are uh, uh, you know correction like. You know what, what he does. You stand so out there the inmate beat their dick. Across the street, you could already be like, you better not. We reached out to Petro's parent company for comment on what protocols are in place for an incident like this. We're still waiting to hear back. Get a fucking security guard out there and you cut that shit because I know how to stop it. You get a motherfucking security guard out there, the same one who be running me from out there uh, in the back. Worry about why I ain't got a goddamn CDL and I'm back there in the back where the semi truck's at. You get his ass to come out there in the front and any nigga look like they want to pull their dick out and beat it in front of anybody that's trying to pump some gas. That's what you need to run out from over there. This son of a bitch, do you know where you are? The iron skillet is right across from Blue Flame. You can go over there and beat your dick during the, the day shift, the, the night shift. And you ain't got to be over there at the iron skillet beating your dick, ruining people's appetite. Man, look. I will be at the Iron Skillet, uh, well, don't worry about when, I don't need nobody knowing I'm gonna be out there, but if I see this son of a bitch out there pulling this dick out, running away the lot lizard, then I, you ain't gonna have to worry about reporting it no more, because I'm gonna get rid of his ass. You, you, you are running away some valuable assets that are hanging around and keeping the truck drivers company while they're trying to take a break before their next load. Look, man, that's neither here nor there. That has been my episode of a goddamn ridiculous today. Back at you, bag and brief. Thank you, Justin, for that goddamn ridiculous news. You know what else is ridiculous? Mm -hmm. um, legendary DJ Fat Man Scoop. He died on Damn. stage after collapsing um, during a Kentucky concert. Whatever y'all say, I gotta do. Like y'all gotta do. That's disrespectful. Whatever y'all say, y'all gotta do. I say it back. Fat Man Scoop, Kim Clear, <laughs> nigga. That and listen. You got served when it ain't been hard at that song. When no, it wouldn't even been that hard that no, song went on. No, you're right. That was like the ultimate dance battle uh, scene. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Hell yeah. Rest no, in peace, Fat Man. Rest Scoop. in peace for real. And then but I think it's also um a cautionary tale. Like black men, we gotta do a little bit better about our health. You know oh, what, what happened saying? to him? He did. I think it was um the paramedics, I don't think they have released wait, what is it? Yeah, he like Painted on stage or some shit. That's crazy. That's yeah. one of my biggest fears, man. I ain't gonna lie. Faint on stage. Like, oh, Pat, hell yeah. That's scary. Because how can you come out of that into a joke? I'm dying to see that. How <laughs> 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 y'all thought I was dead, didn't you? <laughs> got y'all bitch ass. <laughs> ah, got you. Rest in peace, man. You are no, a sure. legend, my boy. No, for sure. Rest in peace. Um. I don't know if you heard, but Colorado is seeking order to evict Venezuelan gang members that overtook an entire apartment building. Like Damn. the whole, actually multiple apartment buildings. Videos have gone viral with the Venezuelan gang brandishing, I don't know, brandishing? Never heard of that. Brandishing, brandishing weapons. yeah. Brandishing weapons, like, yeah. Oh, like, show you I got the gun? I ain't know what that was called. I'm sorry, no, I'm my dumb. bad. No, I'm sorry, I didn't grow them up in the ghetto. Done, them niggas done took over the Taj Mahal, Lana. Right. <laughs> <laughs> they was terrorizing the community in Colorado. <laughs> Oh, 
Nigga, the Venezuelans is taking over. They just jacked them? Oh, me. These niggas is out here tripping. Bro, damn, they done made a mess of shit. Nigga, y'all are on bullshit out here. That is on bullshit. Oh, shit. What the f Yeah, they're tripping. Nigga, they are Nigga, they cracking off in the air and everything. They driving over the... Nigga, we almost just got hit. That's crazy. Who do you think they is? Grand Theft Auto? Like, how the fuck you just run, run in and take over a whole apartment complex? Shit, Nino them did it. <clears throat> Cash money brothers. That's on TV. Yeah. I that was know. a true story, wasn't it? No. All right. I thought it was See, that's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all still <clears throat> thinking that shit was real. What thinking is that? Thinking they could be you. Oh, Colorado. Well, I mean, you know, Venezuelan. Uh, no. Are they Mexicans? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're Hispanic. Venezuelan. Right. They're Venezuelan. That's Colorado is Mexico. Really? I thought Colorado was kind of white. Colorado is Mexico. Oh. Texas, California. New, New Mexico. All, all of that shit is Mexico. I, I feel like we should give Mexico back to, we should give California, Texas, all that back to New Mexico. No, I like LA. I'm being serious. Oh, I like LA. But it's still, you can still like LA, but it's Los Angeles. It's fucking Mexico. <laughs> California, Los Angeles. San Jose, San Pedro, all. Oh. But so it's not gonna be part of the U.S. Like that's what you're saying. No. We'll have to have a passport to go there. Yep. I don't like that. And if you already a L.A. resident, a California you are resident, you good. But anybody trying to come in, they shit, they get to dictate who get to come in and out that shit. Cause you know, I'm telling you, man. No, I like L.A. <clears throat> you no. like it even more with Mexico. Now, now you might be right because I do love Mexico. Right. Like Cabo. Yeah. Okay. It, you think it's gonna be more resorts? Hell no. Okay, fucking, never mind. It's well, fucking ghetto you. now. You see that? Like? <laughs> <laughs> that shit real over there. Speaking of unfortunate, this week, um, two workers were killed at the airport at the airport in Atlanta. They were working for Delta as the one of the tires blew out on the what? plane. Yeah, on a Boeing 757 while they were undergoing maintenance when a tire blew out, killing two airline workers and injuring another one. The crew responded to a call about a tire explosion at the airport and technical operations maintenance facility at about 5 a.m. That's crazy. Damn. Early that's in a, that's the some final destination shit. But tires, how big is the airport? Uh, them tire, big as a motherfucker. Damn. When you think about it, it's probably like big as this desk. Yeah, yeah, them tire big as shit. Like, oh yeah, that's crazy. Boom, like, uh, I hope You think they gonna pay their family? Hell no, is it? No. They should. They should, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, they should. Yeah, they should. Like some type of insurance or something. Yeah, something. Sure. Cause what if they got kids? And it happened here in Atlanta, that's some bullshit. Yeah, especially if it wasn't no negligence on their part. Yeah. Well, since we out here in these Atlanta streets, we need to go ahead and send it over to Blake for just whatever the fuck Blake the Great be doing. Blake the Great. In these streets. <laughs> It's Blake the Great out here in the streets. I'm out here down with food store, and I am geek the fuck up. Boy, it's a lot of bullshit going on out this motherfucker today. What's up, my brother? Woo, doing, oh, ooh, excuse me, OG, you all right? Okay, OG, what's happening? What's happening? What's your name, my brother? Two time. Two time. J two time. Why they call you J two time? No, we throw the phones up in the motherfucker. Throw them phones up in that motherfucker. For what? We don't feel Let me see. But where you got that tattoo done at, boy? No, we don't feel neck. But that, but you got that tattoo done in the Kroger bathroom no, style, no, boy. No, no, you, you got that haircut in the Kroger bathroom style. Okay, okay, I ain't gonna fuck with you, but listen, man. Listen, this channel news, trap 85. You know, no build like Michael Jackson, no. God damn, <laughs> bro, you gonna jump me, bro? Try to build a team, moonwalk on nigga. God damn, bro. I'm trying to get some news, bro. So listen, bro. What's going on, bro? Nothing, bro. What's up with you? Nothing, bro. I got, I, I got a good year. You need a jump, OG? Nah, he need an open jump. I got you. I'm shit, motherfucker. 
You connect, let me tell you what you connect that motherfucker to. You connect that motherfucker right there to that earring on your ear. You connect one arm to your earring, the other one to your other earring. That motherfucker gonna fight right up, I promise you. That we need to Blake the Great, Trap New, man. We out here at Dangle Food Store, man. What's up, my brother? You good, man? What's happening? You all right? What you smoking on, man? Like 100. Listen, man, hold on, wait, 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 stop right there, man. We're gonna get you right here before you start doing that. This is Blake the Great. We on Channel 85, Trap News. What is your name? Rafik. Rafik, where you from, Rafik? Bosnia. Bosnia. What you doing in America, Rafik? Working. Working? You getting some money, y'all? I'm making money. Is he paying you to get him that, to get a jump out? No. Hey, mate, he need to get you a dub for, for No, for man, you need sometimes donate. Sometimes do it for free. Yeah. All right, they're real, brother. Love you, brother. You got any family here? Yeah. Where they at? Bottlesville, Carolina, Juana, uh, everywhere. Excuse me. Hold it. He's trying to get some money on that black men. You know what he's trying to do? He's trying to get that free money on that black men. Trap news. This is what we do. You put the yeah, red on the black and you put the black on the red. No. Put the black on. No, no, no. Oh, hey, man, I know what I'm doing, man. I know what I'm doing. No! Oh, man, you better try to kill everybody. Oh, no, 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 no. Try to blow a nigga ass up. Yeah, no. red on black nigga. Man, get back my mic, man. Black nigga on the black nigga, red nigga on the red nigga. All right, make it mic. Play the great trap news, man. We out here. This is what we do for the people. Red Fig, I got you going. Hey, crank that motherfucker up, man. Twin, I know it's going to work. That boy got first seats in that motherfucker? Yeah. Oh, that boy got money on. Excuse me. Bro, what's up with you, bro? What's up? Man, you ain't going nowhere. Yes, I am, bro. I'm gonna on you like shit on white or right. Bro, you need to wipe that shit from around your mouth. Can we, zoom, can we zoom in on that shit on no, their mouth no, right there? No. God damn, man. Work, I got a goddamn weight. Oh. Hey, man. What we doing? 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 Hey. 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 Ah, trap new man, China 85. Then what we do, man? Man, get on up out of here with all that. Want to be cap shit? You were just talking about how you doing, where you from, how everybody know you. Don't nobody know you. This the time to tell everybody. I bet you, whoever see this shit gonna know who the fuck I'm here, baby. Cause this shit don't even. What's understood don't even gotta be explained, baby. Pop your shit, then. That's what I'm saying. Cause you acting like don't nobody know you. This trap new. What we doing? What's going on, huh? Trap news, man. Good trap news, man. Just put it out there. Put it on there. Not money out. It's on gold brief. Give for money out. Look at that gold brief. Give for money out. Give him a little bunny hop, man. They call it AKA money out. Give him a little hop one time, bro. Give him a little hop, man. Let me say it, cook. Let me say it, cook. I right, pull this shit out. I right, pull this shit out right now. Look at that who? That shit nasty. Uncle Joy, what's up, baby? We got Uncle Joy, man. Uncle Joy, this trap news right here, man. Teddy, for where you from, Uncle Joy? I don't know. I'm, I'm very good. Man, tell them for who you is. Yeah, don't judge. No, tell them for what you the king of. <laughs> king of the jungle. Yeah, man. My man say he the real king of the jungle, man. Stop playing with him, man. man tell them for what you do. How old you here, Joy? I can't tell you now. Man, Joy is 71, man. Still out here buying pussy. And he buying it at an enormous rate. He buying that shit at an enormous rate. He called Uber. He will catch an Uber for them. Yes, he will. Don't do it again. Close my He buying that shit at an enormous rate. He will get you an Uber there. And he'll get you an Uber back. And he'll cook you some wet rice and peas. Hey, Joy will cook you some rice and peas. You like fufu? Come to George, he gonna get you some food food, I'm telling you. No run, George, George, no run, baby. Hey, you give him some air, he gonna do what? Pay your rent. Fuck you mean. Hello, hey man, Blake the Great. He's a rich motherfucker. He's a rich motherfucker, listen man. Blake the Great, Trap News, Channel 85. Send that shit back to the studio, man.
man from Africa, I owe money to with that money. I don't want money to Al with that paper, nigga. Look at Pete the Drip. Come on, man. That man buying pussy at the highest rate ever, man. I'm telling you. Don't look, man. Just get your ass on. Juju, your ass trip. Look at Juju trip. Juju trip. Juju trip. Juju trip. Juju trip. Juju trip. Juju geek up. Hey. Juju trip. Juju doing the handicap, man. <laughs> yeah, man, but the great man, real trap no man. DC do it. You can't do what DC do, duck. You gotta do what you do, duck. DC do duck. Tell him again. Man, you can't do what DC do, duck. You a monkey. <laughs> you a monkey. He said you a monkey. Take a ball head ass Get him. Hey, we on we on live with this Smile shit now. We on live with this shit now. Roll your ass. Little ball in the building, little damn boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little yeah. Ugly yeah. ass D. Can't over T. Need a shot in their head, nigga. Yeah. 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 Everybody don't steal. Everybody don't steal, my nigga. Everybody don't steal. They don't. That's why they call me man of steel. And then you smile at the guy that come. Let the man see. That boy say he, he say he been biting on steel. That's why they call him the man of steel. Breaking news. That boy overbite. I was about to sign out, but I had to sign back in. Hey man, back the great. We out of here, man. Appreciate y'all. Money bag and breathe. Send that shit back to the studio. All right. Well, thank you, Blake the Great. Hopefully you're free. Um, <laughs> Atlanta actually ranked at, ranked the most educated city in America. Yeah, ha ha. I don't know why I said. And that. you wasn't included in that. What the fuck? And, and you were not included. I got my diploma. Yo, what? My diploma. Okay, from what? You didn't even graduate high school. Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Fuck, of course not. I didn't. I didn't think so. What? That's why you don't know. Anyways, here's what you need to know. George. This is what they do. They beat black man down just because I ain't get a piece of paper. From <laughs> Nobody I beat have you down. know, I got my GED. Okay, good job for completing something. <laughs> I didn't do that either. Damn. See? Yeah, I don't like. I, I don't tried like how you to did that. uplift you, but you uh, ain't doing shit yeah, uplifting. Okay. All right, cool, cool. The cool, fuck. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Anyways, um. I did have perfect attendance though in jail. <laughs> <laughs> I showed up. I showed up every day. Clearly, okay. Um, Jesus. Well, we know that you weren't included in these statistics, but okay. in Atlanta, sixty percent of us okay. residents have a bachelor's degree, and the city also has. You got your bachelor's? I do have my bachelor's. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. And I'm on, actually man. working in my field. What? Mass media, film, and television. Well, I thought you only dated bachelors. I didn't know you had. Shut <laughs> Anyways, the city ha also has an over 78% bachelor's degree completion completion rate for those 25 and older. So most of us, you know, get into the bag a little young. Because 25 is, is kind of young. Yeah, you know, a young. lot of people wait to go to school. That's young, especially when you look up and you're 39 like Bree. I'm not 39. First of all, I don't even look nowhere near. Mm -mm. Anyway, <laughs> Forbes knows that Atlanta is home to major colleges like, of course, Georgia Tech, Georgia State University. That's my alumni. And Emory. Atlanta is also home to several HBCUs, including Morehouse, Spelman, and Clark. Hell so. Yeah. That's something to clap for. Y'all smart. Hell yeah. That's why I need to run for president, because I need to get in the. Oh, um, hell you don't. Yes, I do. We Bro, need to fund public schools. You were just getting high school. before we started. <laughs> you a fucking junkie. You, you don't I'm a no junkie. junkie. Yes. I'm a junkie. Yes. Okay. I'm okay. Let me drop this in no, my No, ceiling. no, no. That's nah, what I'm nah, saying. Let me. Nah, nah, nah. Don't do that. that. Ah, girl, you crazy. Turn her mic off. Mute her mic. <laughs> See, but well, I'm a junkie. No, you good. Go ahead. No, that's it. I don't really got no other news. You got some more news? No, that's it. All right, well. I'm Bree Renee straight from the A. No, I'm Bree Renee straight from the A. And it's your boy, boy. It's your boy. I said your boy, boy. Your, your, your boy, boy. boy. <laughs> your bum boy. It's your, your bum boy, boy. Money bag. I ain't that baby's father, but the little nigga can call me dad. Try no. Just a white head, nigga. I'll run up on bitch. Two see about me, channel 85. Yo, fuck yeah. that hoe, lame ass bitch.